I've been having my eyes on the Steam Deck for quite a while now, having just been introduced to handheld gaming about a year and some months ago when I first purchased my Nintendo Switch OLED, I've realized that I really love handheld gaming, and so I went ahead and bought the Steam Deck, and we're going to be unboxing it in this video. Now I'm someone who really likes to take care of their tech products, so I went ahead and bought some other accessories with it, like this large carrying case from JSOX that can carry like your power adapter, or a power bank, and some AirPods, a screen protector, a case from Spigen to throw on the Steam Deck for some added protection because I don't want to drop this thing and it gets some scratches on it. And since I got the 64 gigabyte version, I went ahead and picked up a 512 gigabyte micro SD card from Silicon Power because like, what am I going to do with 64 gigabytes, guys? Like, I'm going to download like one or two games and it's all going to go away. The good thing is that the storage can be upgraded to an SSD here in the Steam Deck and that's something I would like to do in the future, but I'm not sure if I trust myself opening my Steam Deck just yet. I need to watch more videos on it before I attempt to do that. But for now, the micro SD card will just have to do. And all of these accessories will be linked down in the description. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the unboxing. It comes in this plain cardboard box, but I don't think this is a bad thing because you can only get this handheld online. So it has to be shipped to your doorstep. And I don't think you would want a fancy looking box that says Steam Deck all over it at your doorstep while you're at work and nobody's home to put it inside. So it's kind of a positive thing. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and need to grab the power adapter, which I think is right here and uh, plug it in before starting this, I think. So uh, we'll just put this to the side right here. Kind of like the writing on here. It's pretty dope. All right, so now we got the power adapter, USB type C, always good to see that. Um, and it's not detachable either. Got that. All right, the moment of truth. Your games are going places. Let's go ahead and uh, put this aside. Let's go ahead and take off the sleeve. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> I am super excited for this right now. Oh man. So this is what the carrying case looks like. It feels pretty good. Like this carrying case feels pretty solid. It feels pretty solid. Oh my goodness, dude. This is absolutely sick right here. Wow. This thing is, it's very huge, like, jeez. But it's, it's, it's very ergonomic. Like this feels like I can hold it for a while, especially because right away what I notice is just look at the ergonomic shape that they put. Like this is perfect for holding it. You know, it feels like a natural holding grip. All right, analog sticks feel, feel good. They feel good. Buttons. D-pad, these, these triggers though, they feel really great. They feel super smooth, like, like, wow. Just seeing this in person for the first time, this thing looks sick. You know, at first this design, I didn't really uh, like it, but over time it did grow on me. The more I saw it like on YouTube videos and stuff, the more I like it, and I know it doesn't appeal to everyone, but it, it, it's it's really a nice design to me. It's just sleek, and what makes it look even cooler is these touch pads here. And you can get some skins that you can put on these touch pads as well, and you can get a skin for the whole device as well if you want to protect it even more and give it a cool look. Yeah, this case is pretty dope. And it comes with this little um, wristband that you can attach to your wrist. So if you do drop your Steam Deck, it'll, you know, catch your Steam Deck. So uh, that is cool, but I don't know if I'll put this on, um, but it is here, you know, if you want to use it and it's uh, add some more protection. Okay, so installing that was not that easy, but okay, we got it though. 
All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at the protective carrying case from JSOX. This is the larger carrying case that allows you to just carry more stuff. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like. All right, this is pretty nice as well. I like that like gray look and this feels very sturdy like this. You know, this is definitely protecting your Steam Deck. Like I, you would have to really put something heavy on it to compress it. But other than that, if you're using it for like normal use, this seems like a pretty good case. So, so this is the original case that comes with the Steam Deck and this is the JSOX one. They're almost about the same size. The JSOX is a little bit larger in terms of the width. As you can see, it has more space here down for storage, whereas the regular Steam Deck case doesn't have as much width, so it can't carry as much stuff. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the power adapter and plug it into the Steam Deck and power this thing on. So let's go ahead and do that. Setup is pretty easy and straightforward. The first thing you'll do is select your language. Mine is obviously English. Then it'll give you a list of time zones to choose from. Select the one that applies to you. I live in the West Coast, so I chose Pacific Standard Time. And then after that, you get to select your Wi-Fi and put in your password. Once you're connected, the Steam Deck will need to update, but after this, you log into your Steam account and then you'll be greeted with a quick tutorial of some of the buttons on the Steam Deck and what they do. After this, you're all set. It was definitely one of the quickest setups I've done. Inserting and formatting the micro SD card was pretty simple. Make sure the card is facing forward, then insert it. Press the micro SD icon on the top of the screen, then check to see if there's any updates. I did have one update that needed to be installed. Then scroll down and format the SD card. It doesn't really give you a notification that it's done formatting, but to check that it's working, you can check the storage and the settings menu, and it should show the SD card on the top right corner, or you can download a game and it should give you the option to download it on the internal storage or the micro SD card. And as you can see, I wasn't even able to download Cyberpunk on the internal storage, so if you plan on playing big AAA titles, you're definitely gonna need a micro SD card or expand the storage on the 64 gig model. But nevertheless, I'm super excited that I now have my Steam Deck and I'm definitely gonna be doing a review on this, so stay tuned for that.